go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a thankfulness video, just like how to stay thankful this season, positive. I'm just going to include some tips, tricks, and then some of the apps I use to help me stay thankful this season. So on my phone, I just wrote down a few ideas. I just want to talk about thankfulness and positivity and just kind of like define them. So I define them in my notes, so I'll just read them. So thankfulness means just kind of being appreciative of what you already have. And I think positivity means always looking for the good in things, seeing like, oh, it's not good right now, but it could be good later. And doing that even when it's hard. And the first tip I have for you guys is to take small steps. And I would say with being thankful, I know it can be hard to be appreciative of what you have. People take advantage of things all the time. I do it too, everyone does it. Um, but even like, I'm thankful that the light in my room works. Another simple thing you can be thankful for is having access to clean water. I can just open my fridge and get water out anytime I choose to. And that is such a privilege that I have that. And I always take advantage of that, but that's really important just to remember like this. The other tip is just to be thankful for your body and all the things it does for you. Like your feet allow you to walk around your house or your hands allow you to scroll on your phone and look at Instagram pictures. Your eyes allow you to see your cute little dog in your room. Like just things like that that are so simple. I'm grateful that we're even given this body and this is the body you're gonna live in for the rest of your life. And I'm not saying it's not okay to go to the gym and tone it. I mean, I just got done working out. So obviously that's okay, but just doing it for like the right reasons. Giving thanks that you're happy and you're healthy because um, in class you're reading this book called Night and it's about the Holocaust, which is obviously like super terrible. Um, but just thinking like if I was in that situation like that would be horrible like I'm so lucky that I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm able to live in my own house and also being able to go to school it is so hard this time of year to kind of must up the motivation we have veterans day break this weekend which is really nice but most weeks they don't have us and it's really hard for me to get motivated to go to school like just last Tuesday I was like I seriously can't go to school like what I hate school, I don't want to go, and I have to think, I shouldn't say I have to go to school, I should say I get to go to school, and I'm trying to change my have to's to gets, because, like, not like, oh, I have to work out, I get to work out, I have the ability to work out, I use. so I use five different apps, which may seem like a lot, may seem like a little, I don't know, um, but I have them under this section called Good Habits. Okay, so these are the apps, so, so the first app, 5 Minute Journal. It starts with a daily quote. It shows you a daily quote every single day. Um, but it says, I am grateful for, you list three things. And then what will I do to make it today great? List three things. And then daily affirmations. And those are really important. And I say things, I mention things there um, in the daily affirmations I am. And that's why like, I like, like I have like a strong core. I am confident. Like things that I don't always believe about myself. Because if I start seeing them written down, then I start reinforcing it, believing it's true. Um, and then Simple Habit is just super awesome. They have a bunch of like little five minute meditations, five to five minutes to like an hour. So depending on how much time you have. And then day one, it's like a free form journaling app. So you can list like, I like to list like, oh, what were the good parts about today? What were the bad parts? And I can look back in like a year and be like, wow, last year at this time, I was still dealing with this problem. But this year I have grown like i have grown that problem is no longer an issue and then the present sense app is basically um it's kind of like a free form meditation um so basically you just spend like five minutes thinking um what are you grateful for and this one's really like i don't know if you're not really looking for like the guided meditation like simple habit this one is really powerful because it's just like it's kind of you with your own thoughts and dailyo you can just put like your moods and if you see like, oh, in February, I had this really great day. I think that's just really interesting to see how you're improved. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video on Wednesday.